I enjoy talking this to you. And um, okay. so, again, I apologize I, I, for accusing you of wrongly uh, calling you disingenuous okay. and uh, please ac ac accept my apology. I have accepted and, that. Uh, I would ask, just be, just come across in a, in a friendly way because you, you, you're I quite would. intimidating I to would. some people. I'm sorry about that. Not me necessarily, <laughs> but if you want to have discussions. Saying, Rob, Rob, Rob saying, not me necessarily, he'll beat you up, mate. Uh, no, no, <laughs> okay. He's bigger than me anyway. Sorry, the yeah. line where I have a job yeah. is if somebody got up on a ladder, for example, I'm giving you the extreme so you know where I'm coming yeah, from. Yeah. The only place where I would draw a line yeah. is if somebody got up on a ladder, said, here's 5,000 pounds, atheist, go kill the first Muslim you can. Yeah, but that, that okay. for me but that's, would be the line. Right, but that's, Anything else, That's the can. crime because you're not inciting violence Correct. to someone. But I believe... That's, my, that's the only limit okay. I have. Yeah. Now, but I believe oh, that words in itself, yeah, verbal incitement, yeah. can be just as dangerous because mm -hmm. The problem that we have with certain people like Sora is that he's antagonizing with his words. Mm -hmm. If he was a bit more cautious with the way he criticized us, there would be no problem. For example, Gary, is Gary or Kalam, we respect them. Mm -hmm. I like them, I have no some issue with them. Do. Some people no, no, I have honestly, fun of them, I, I respect people like Kalam, mm -hmm. I respect people like Go, uh, Gary, because when they come up to criticize us, they try to be academic about it. They try to critique us academically. They don't do cheap shots like, you know, oh, he's a, your, your, your prophet is a pedophile, yeah? I mean, when someone sure says Gary, that... I'm sure Gary said I mean, that. No, no, no. The way Gary says it, he words it in a different manner. So he would say, for example, you read the hadith about Muhammad, peace be upon him, Mary and Aisha, nine years old. Yeah, yeah. He would say, would you not call this child molestation, yeah? You see, the wording is very different. Like, he's not asking a question and he's insinuating something. I have no problem with that. No problem with that. But when you come say to me, your papa was a pedophile, you are now slandering him. You're slandering something that we love more than ourselves. Now maybe it doesn't make sense to you, maybe you don't accept it, no problem. But you have to respect some people don't accept it. I, now, I accept that people don't accept it. My question to you yeah. is, should it be allowed here in the park or should it be banned? Okay, now I'm saying, Rob, is that any type of slander, any type of defamation should be banned. Not just against Muslims, you use an atheist. Perfect. Muslims should not be allowed to antagonize you, to slander your beliefs, yeah, to make fun of you, mock you. You shouldn't be allowed. Okay, so here's the difference between us. Yeah. I think you can. You should be able to. And not only do I think that, but I'll take you a step further. Here's what I would love to do. We can do it maybe on a hangout. Yeah. I can prove to you, and I need to do it in a hangout, because otherwise I've got to bring, that when you, quote, feel insulted, it's a choice. Now, the moment you hear that, now you are going to reject this, because but I have a little bit of, and I don't claim to be an expert, but I have some expertise in psychology. When, when we have this whole thing of I say something, there's certain things that happen. If I show you it, I think if you're an honest, rational person, you will be in no doubt that you are choosing it. Now, if, you, if I said something to you and you went, I felt insulted, and you knew what I told you about to choosing, my question to you is, well, how long do you want to choose to feel insulted? Now it's your choice. That's where I want to raise people to. You are saying, no, no, certain things because because I, I don't understand that that I that it's me choosing to feel insulted you are actually powerless I said it to other people I'll say it to you here Sara here's something that'll shock you Sara is your greatest gift here if you can get that yes <laughs> you out. see that's the response I'm when out. you understand and by the way good by the way I disagree like, yeah. I disagree with some things that Sara does yeah. I'll say that quite happily okay yeah. so I'm not a Sara I don't approach people that way yeah. if you can understand why I said that yeah it will be a paradigm shift. He walked away there laughing. It's in, in his mind, it's impossible that Sara could be your greatest gift. Shall I explain? It? explain okay, good. Yeah. So, people like Sara are never going to go away. Do you agree? There's always going to be people like Sara. Yes, yes. If you could inoculate yourself, give yourself armor, so that you didn't have that negative emotion that you feel when Sara says X, Y, and Z, do you think that would be more empowering for you? Don't care about anybody else, for you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Think, here's an analogy. Imagine you went to a sewer plant, and you start to work on the first day. It'll be the shittest smelling thing you've ever had. Imagine you've been there for 30 days. The shit no longer smells like shit. It becomes normal. The feeling that you control now has made a change. You should stand around Sarah all the time, listen to him say this, inoculate yourself, yeah. and go, do you know what? I'm choosing to feel something else. This guy's wrong, yes. X, Y, and Z, boom. Now you've inoculated yourself. Yes. If you can get that, and right. Muslims can get that. I accept that. Star is your biggest yeah, gift. Right. Don't run you're away right. and go, oh, whatever. Right.
It's the same I, for everybody. I, I want somebody to come and challenge me. Rob, I totally agree with you. You can say to my my, yeah. my mom's a whore. I will say to you, do you know what? Yes. You're incorrect. You, yes. you don't know my mom. Yes. I will give you evidence yes, to the perfect. contrary. Most Look, people, if you had, if you had come to a man, you go, your mom's a whore. Right. What are most people going to do? What most men? Yes, but a fisty cut. Yeah, yeah, the reason why? Look, because I, the, I, the look, psychological I, level is a little bit lower. I want to raise that. I totally get where you're coming from. I'm you, and I'm I accept you. that. I accept that. However, Rob, yeah. the thing is this, is that what you're saying makes sense from an individual perspective. However, we live in a society mm -hmm. as a family. Okay, we're in this park, very small park. Mm -hmm. Now, how how do we go about understanding each other? How do we go about educating ourselves? If the starting point where we begin of getting to know each other is by insulting each other. Mm -hmm. If, for example, I come to your house or I invite you to my house, mm -hmm. for example, yeah, for dinner, yeah. and I start off by saying, Rob, your mother is X, X, X Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. She jumped into bed with X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Would, would, would that be a very good approach of me and you getting to know each other? Okay. I mean, would, no you, would you have a good opinion about me if I did that? Okay, I'd say that's a very unusual thing for you to do. No, yes. Okay. But, uh, and I would say to you, hey, you don't know what you're talking about, etc. Yes. Now, I agree, not everybody's like me. Yeah. Uh, and, if, and other people go, maybe they throw a fork yeah. at you or the, the I mean, I wish potato I could, at your I, head I, or whatever. But. I wish I could be like people like Shabir Youssef, like Lil look, Hamza, very why calm. Can't, you can, but, that's uh, the difference. But, but, look, you can. I can, but only to a certain extent, Rob. Because we're all different, we all think different, we all act different. Sure. We come from different backgrounds. My background is very different from your background. Sure it is. I was, I was raised in a way where you do not say certain things. You come from a different background where, no, anything goes. You don't care, there's, there's no such thing as a holy thing where you can't say this, you can't say that. Correct. So we come from different, but one thing that we can both accept as a fellow human beings, yeah, atheist and a Muslim, mm. is that there are some things in life, Rob, where there's a kind of this, this universal moral value, which I'm sure you do accept, treat people the way you want to be treated. Yeah? This, this is a universal common ground that we treat people the way we want to be treated. Sure. For us to flourish as a society, yeah, because we all live together now in this, in this, in this very multi, multi and diverse society, with different people from all different ways of life. Mm. For us to live in this tiny little bubble, we have to respect each other. Okay, so that's where I would semi agree with you, semi not. I respect you as a person. I'm at standing here. I respect you. I do not respect any beliefs in your head, and I think that's the difference. I respect separate. That. Ideas from people. Yes, I, I would never go, that's you're fine. an arsehole, just can, you the you first. You can critique me I as much as you want. You got crappy yeah, ideas, maybe, and you could say the same to so, me. Sorry, yeah. let me re re rephrase that because I was talking about when I said we should respect each other, I meant we should not go around and slander each other, insult each other. We should be fair, and if we want to critique each other, if we want to refute each other, we try to do with certain ethics and morals. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Respecting and insulting is two different okay. levels. Two, two different things. You can Criticizing and, yeah. and slander and insulting are two different and things. Do you agree? Yes, they are. However, here's, here's the challenge Perfect. for you yeah. that you would need to give me. is a criteria by which somebody can judge right. what is insulting. Right. Because I've got a friend um, who's a very staunch. It makes me look like I'm yeah. the most modest guy in the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. If he came here, he would be highly, he would feel the same level of insult you feel when the, the prophet is insulted, when you start talking about God. Would you then, if you're going to be consistent, say, do you know what, I'm, I'm not going to talk about God because we need to get along together. I can see that I'm insulting you talking about God. I'm going to refrain from, would you do that? All right, yes. If you were going to be consistent, you would have to say, have to, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now the problem becomes, this becomes a slippery slope because anybody can decide anything unless you give me a criteria yeah. that we can all agree yes. on. It's subjective. It is subjective. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, so where we draw the line yeah. is slander and insult. So when, for example, this issue of the marriage of Aisha to Mama, peace be upon him, we have time after time after time <laughs> explained to the likes of Sara that even by today's standards, it would not have been considered pedophilia. Because the definition of pedophilia, today's standards, is to have sex with a child which have not yet reached puberty, which is menstruation for, for a child, yeah? Which Aisha did. So even 14 years ago, even by, even by those standards, it would not be considered pedophilia. When you now keep bringing this issue up over and over again, week in, week out, that's when we have to draw the line. So look, you have, it seems, a clear agenda of antagonizing people now. Now this is the problem that should be stopped. Because he's not, he's not benefiting anyone. He's not, he's not aiding us to get to know each other. He's only creating what? 
discord between us as human beings. Yeah, but then you've got the choice to walk away. Now, I would I agree do. with you. Yeah. If he followed you around the park non-stop yes, and was yes. saying it in your ear, yes, now I'm going, them. hang on a moment, yeah. but you can walk away. Yes, I could have walked away. Yeah, you you're could, right. You, yeah. yeah, I could have, you're right. Uh, yeah. And so that's the and, and I can. But you see, the, the thing is, Rob. And yeah. by the way, just on the Aisha yeah. thing, let's say all of that's true. You're forgetting one important thing. Yeah. The other thing that we need to bring in here is consent. And we know from a philosophical point yes, of view yes. that in order to, to have a full mind yes. to consent, yes. you need to be, in fact, absolutely. ideally you want to be in your early 20s. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now we're talking about a young girl. Yes. You, in order for you to convince me that this was a marriage to an adult, you would have to bring me some kind of overwhelming evidence that not only was it menstruation, but that she was at an adult level to consent. Okay. Now I don't think that's possible in your theology. Okay. Um, and so for the rest of us looking in, we still see her as a young girl slash child. She's not an adult. Now, some people want to claim the dictionary definition. They're missing the point. Uh, it's not here at the moment. Um, but we need to look at more than just, right. is she bleeding? Right. And is that she, is consent. So I mean, I, I just want to throw I, that I, in. I, I didn't want to really di no, discuss fair. the issue of Aisha and Muhammad. I mean, we, can, we can discuss them another we time. We can do that another time. But you see, the main point was this is that now what, what you're saying, I get that. I understand what you're saying. I, the reason why we are sticking to our principles is because we live in a society now where, like you mentioned, morality is not dictated by a book or by God or religion, yes. but it's dictated by people. So people have, for example, in this country, 30 years ago, homosexuality was considered to be immoral yeah. and even illegal. Today is common, it's, it's, it's acceptable, yes. yeah? Because, why though, why? Because people have not come together mm -hmm. and decided that it should be allowed. Did they, okay, so let me ask you a question. Yeah. Did they come together and you're gonna go, what? Uh, it's just random, we'll just do it today. Were there reasons why they came together and made their decision? I believe, I believe it was a uh, variety of different reasons, mm -hmm. but I believe mainly, mainly it was due to social conditioning by the government. The government and the media socially condition people. Why would they do that? Well, because obviously... Because that sounds a bit like a conspiracy thing to me. Well, well, why I, I would they... Say it's conspiracy, I mean, look, what, what is the benefit to the government of us suddenly accepting people who claim to have a different lifestyle to us? I don't particularly want to be in that lifestyle, but from my right. point of view, I'm not going to um, stop somebody else unless, here's my view, unless we had overwhelming evidence that showed that same-sex relationships had a negative effect over does. and above uh, yeah, we, but I don't want to go there. Yeah, well, you can provide me yeah, the evidence, we yeah, can talk. Yeah. Over and above what they say, because if yeah. two people who claim to be homosexual say, hey, we're having a relationship yeah. and it benefits us and we're not harming anybody else, right. you now have to bring me independent, overwhelming evidence that goes, hey, you guys are wrong, then I can stand next to you and go, do you know what? According to this scientific evidence, right. psychology, biology, neurobiology, right. it's wrong. No matter what you guys think, it's wrong and here's the evidence. Right. So the evidence is... is you don't need to do it now, but we can okay, talk we can about it. it. Okay, right. So the yep. whole point is that... So look, that yeah. yeah. So the whole point is that, look, we live in a society where it's a secular society. Yes. And morals are defined by people. By people, I should say, people that we elect, yeah? Or people that are elected in the yeah, government. They pass yeah. the laws and they say to us what is right and what is wrong. Now, as Muslims, I believe, I believe that we should try to influence, yeah, this this uh, kind of notion of free speech, we should have a say. If we don't come out and say to the likes of Sora that we don't feel that it's good of you to say these things about our prophet, to slander him, mm -hmm. we would wish and respect for you to stop doing that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Unless we say these things, things will never change for us. It will, it will still be the same. Mm -hmm. For example, now the Jews, the Jewish community, yeah? Mm -hmm. They are in a much more better position than they were, say, 50, 60 years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are not in a position where anti-Semitism is illegal. They are accepted. Holocaust is accepted. You can more or less be charged if you de deny yeah, Holocaust. Which I disagree with. By yeah, the way. But that's, there we go. that's fine. But yeah. you're not going against the law of the country. Yes, by the way, correct. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right. So I'm saying I have no problems with that. No problems with that. Yeah, but, but that's because it benefits you. No. Because no. you're going, hey, look what no, no, look, they no, banned no, certain no, things no, from Rob. the Jews. No, no. I want it the same rights. It benefits society. It benefits society, Rob. I but that's what I've said to you, it doesn't. If, but how, but, I mean, how does it benefit society by, by, for example, saying, no, Holocaust never happened, Jews are this, Jews are that. How, how does that how benefit? Does, okay, good. How, how, does, does, it, how does it benefit? Yeah. Because we can bring evidence to show that, in fact, the Holocaust did happen. So people like David Irving, who was in prison in, in, in uh, Austria for three years, his crime, talking about the Holocaust and saying it didn't happen. So Austria's got that law that if you talk about the Holocaust, yeah, you are Germany, locked up. In Germany as well. Yeah, and probably in Germany yeah, yeah. as well. I think that's utterly wrong. Why? Why do I think it's wrong? Because he can present his evidence, 
somebody else can present the evidence that the Holocaust actually happened, we can evaluate and go, hey, you're talking nonsense, and you can be ostracized as somebody who's talking nonsense. But to ban something is just not the way. We go on a slippery slope, we're never going to stop. That's why I said to you, and you, you kind of agreed, but I see you, you sort of fall back a bit. If, if people kept saying what they said about the Jews, and they armoured themselves up, and now it's easy for me to say it here, but if they could, and it's in, in principle it's possible, anti-Semitism wouldn't be a law. Nobody would care about that. And it's the same for yourselves here. If you armour up against this, whatever Sarah says is like water of a duck's back. At the moment, it's absorbing in here, and it's like painful, and it's like somebody's turning a knife. So you can take this you, out and go, hey, it's water you, of a duck's back. Say, say, it's say a, for example, we live in Nazi Germany in the 30s, yeah? yeah? Where before Hitler, he put the Jews in concentration camps, there was certain events that came before that. For example, he was talking about Jews as, you know, in very kind of negative terms, that they were kind of vultures, they were leeches, they were sucking the German economy dry, all these things. Yes. In order to precondition the German people for what to was to come later on. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously the Auschwitz and the concentration okay, camps. Nobody could have foreseen that. And most of the German people... But the point is, the fact that the people were preconditioned with this kind of rhetoric about the Jews, yeah, gave way to the Holocaust. Do you accept that? So if there was no, if there was, for example, a limit on free speech, yes. I don't believe it would have happened because the people would have rejected it. Because people by default, I believe, all over the world, they have it in them that they, they want good for other people. People are not born evil, regardless of what religion you are. We want better for mankind. But if you have someone who's mm -hmm. constantly bombarding you, yeah. saying that these people are like this, these people are like that. For example, like now we live in Britain, you cannot watch the news. Mm -hmm. And not a single day goes by where you watch the news and you see something negative by Muslims. Muslims are terrorists. Muslims are barbarians, savages. They're terrorists. Look at what they're doing. Look at halal meat. Look at the women have to wear niqab. Look how they're doing circumcision every, every single day. Mm -hmm. Whatever is the news, the radio, something is being negatively spoken to about Muslims. Mm -hmm. Now, I believe, I don't want to, obviously, I have more reasons why that is, but it goes to show that when you check the polls, when you check the polls, and there was a poll recently conducted, I think by, by, by Pew, where they surveyed the British people, mm -hmm. and I believe 60% of British people have a negative uh, opinion about Muslims. Mm -hmm. Now, where does it come from? Where does it come from? You see, when you constantly, you're bombarded, mm -hmm with negative propaganda about certain people, subconsciously you accept it, whether you like it or not. You're a very intelligent man. I know that you don't believe that all Muslims are terrorists, but subconsciously you believe that, hey, that maybe there's something inherently wrong with Islam for them to go and do X, Y, and Z. Do you understand, Rob? Yes, yeah, yeah? sure. And not maybe knew you, but I'm saying, generally speaking, many people, so Tom, what, Tom, Dick, and Harry, are like you, this. What do you think we should do about that? Should, should we? Be more accurate in our speech we and educate should, people, or should we just say no? You're not allowed. To no, talk no. About we that. should restrict freedom press. The press should be restricted what they say. I mean, look, Crap, Rob, dude. you have to look. You have to differentiate freedom of speech, hate speech. Yeah, I, I don't. Freedom press and total misrepresentation. Yeah? yeah, but that's that's factually incorrect. That's easy enough to show, isn't it? So you don't believe that's uh, that's that's taking place. I mean, you don't believe that the media is purposely and 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 deliberately misrepresenting Muslims, portraying them in, in a If you If you can provide me light. evidence now, here's the difference between you and I. I see when there's a terrorist bombing or whatever the yeah. case is. You may, may see this and I may be, and you can tell me whether yeah. that's the case. You see this and you go, hey, that represents all terrorists. When I see it, I say, there's a terrorist. I don't think everybody's a terrorist. And every time I speak, and you know I'm a, a fairly harsh critic of Islam, right. I always say some Muslims or right. a small subset or whatever. The, I never, and neither does many of the critics that you would probably point out, say all Muslims. Nobody who's honest would say that. And anybody who does, I would stand with you and criticize them as being inaccurate. But the fact that there are some terrorist acts going on and it's being shown in the media is not a reason to ban the media from talking about no, no, this. No, not ban media. I said restrict the media. Restrict the media. And hold the media to account for the way that it gives its news. Because the media has a very, very important role in in kind of uh, creating people's uh, opinion about others. Yeah. Is the, is, the, is the information that the media are giving correct or incorrect factually? About Muslims? Yes. 
90, 99% or 90% of the time is incorrect. Okay, so what's the antidote? To, to, to give the correct information the anti or to restrict what you consider to be in, inaccurate information? Well, the antidote is basically that the media and the press should be hold, hold to account. So, for example, when they write stories about, uh, uh, well, let's, like for example, yeah, you know, for example, when a Muslim carries out an attack, a terrorist attack, yeah, like the London Bridge, it's called a terrorist attack, rightfully so. It's a terrorist attack. Yes. But when a white male Christian or atheist does the same crime, mm -hmm. it's not called a terrorist act. Mm -hmm. Why is that? You tell me. Why is that? Well, again, and when, when did they you do might that? call this a conspiracy, okay, whatever. Okay, so if, if in fact that the, the white terrorist atheist yeah. did exactly what the Muslim did, then I would call that a terrorist act. And people who do it, then right. I would stand with you. Don't. And, well, if they don't, then I'll criticize you on that issue. But, but... Me or the media? No, I'd criticize the media oh. if that was the case. Yeah, but but again, the case, don't generalize <laughs> that to 90%. So if the media's no, no. made mistakes, no, no. we can point that out, no problem. Um, I will agree yeah, with you. I'm but don't say, media, because media. the media made a mistake on one yeah. white atheist guy, if that's the case, that 90% of the stuff they say about Muslims is incorrect. What I notice is inferences are drawn here, which really we need to think more about. Don't draw inferences when there's a certain occasions and generalize that to everything. If you've got evidence for that and 90% of the media is in yeah, fact incorrect, then I've yeah, got no problem. There's been many, many... But one or two, yeah, yeah. No, no, you can't there's, say 90%. There's been many reports about this, yeah, where it actually studied all, like, all, X amount of articles from um, uh, post 9-11 until now, where there's a clear, clear, clear statistics that shows that whenever Muslims are mentioned, yeah, out of X amount of articles, 90% of the time, yeah. is always in a negative light. Always in a negative light. For example, if a Muslim saves a person on the street, he's not reported as a Muslim. He's just reported as someone who saved some person. But if a Muslim harms another person, mm -hmm. harms someone, his religion is always mentioned. Mm -hmm. Always. Majority of the time. Why is that? Okay, so do you, do you think there's a link between a small subset of Muslims and terrorist acts. Why do we not get Christian, Mormon, uh, yeah, Scientologist uh, attacks in the same way we're getting Muslim well, attacks? We Why? Do. We do, Rob. We when? do. But you see, if you, for example, okay, it depends. Okay, did you know that um, majority of terrorist attacks was actually carried out by Tamils in Sri Lanka? Yeah, more than any Muslim put together. Did you know? Where, it, where have you got that information from? Uh, if you go online, you check it. I can't remember what it was, but it's actually online. So your claim is that there's more Tamil tigers committing actually um, by, by terrorist by attacks. By number-wise, yes. And even according to the Interpol or Europol, yeah, only two percent of terrorist attacks in Europe was by, was committed by Muslims. Who, yeah? Who's committing the other ninety-eight percent? Uh, there's many. There's uh, ETA, the Spanish, and this is a few years back, by the way. Yeah. Okay, so we're talking yeah? today. Let's let's. So, so today, even today. Like, okay, even today, I, I don't know the latest. I, I would suggest you, is. and I've said it before. Yeah. There's a small subset of Muslims that reliably yeah. do things, and they claim it from the Quran. Now you could yeah, yeah, say, yeah. hey, they're misinterpreting the Quran, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you may have a point, or you may yeah, not. Yeah. That's a different discussion. Mm. But it's it, what we can see. It's reliably a small subset of Muslims that are doing these sort of things. Right. And so it's not unreasonable for people to be cautious, I would say. Not fearful, but cautious. I know people here, I know lots of Muslims. I'd sit down, have dinner with them, I've been out with them. There's a lot of reasonable people here. Yeah. And so that's the message I think we need to get out rather yes. than let's yes, stop certain things I from agree. being broadcast. Yes. And if there's something that's inaccurately broadcast, yes then let's say, hey, that's inaccurately broadcast and we give the true facts. Right. I think that's the best. Right. I think that's yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. as far as we I agree, can go Rob. for now. Next time, we'll have a different one if you want to talk that's about fine. morality no or something that's else. Fine. That's fine. We can that's fine. talk about that. I enjoy talking to you. And, um, okay. so, again, I apologize uh, for uh, accusing you yeah, yeah. of wrongly uh, calling you disingenuous okay. and uh, please accept, accept my apology. I have accepted and, that. Uh, I would ask, just be just come across in a, in a friendly way because you, you, you're I quite would. intimidating to some people. I'm sorry about that. Not me necessarily, but if you uh, want to have Rob, discussions... Saying, Rob, Rob, Rob's saying, not me necessarily, he'll beat you up, mate. Uh, no, no, <laughs> so he's bigger than me, anyway. Sorry, no worries. Okay. Sorry. Uh, cool, man. Thanks. Can I get out. a copy of that as well, then? No problem. Yeah. No problem.